Hi, this is Ben Ling and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Salesbacker account. So first you'll need to decide which email campaign plan you're wanting to go for. So you can either get 120 emails per month, which is a free package, or you can go for an upgraded package if you need to send out more emails per month and that will depend on the orders as I mentioned in the other video. So you'll get 1,600 emails per month with the $19 a month package and you can upgrade as you go. So I would definitely recommend starting on a free trial, see if it works for you. All the premium features are here below. Yeah, that allows you free attachments, so if you want to add a, an attachment every email it sends out after a customer orders, it can attach like a PDF with instructions to how to use the product along those lines and you also get email alerts, but that's only with the premium package. So once you've decided on the package and you've signed up, you'll get an email notification and you just have to click on the confirmation link in your email. And then this will take you in and you'll be logged in and you'll see your name or your username at the top right hand corner. Once you're logged in, you just want to go to messages, email campaigns. But before we get this set up, we need to connect it with your Amazon services account and that will just be your Seller Central account. So once you click on this, you'll see what happens. It takes you to connect your Amazon Seller Central account and it gives you all the instructions below here. Then you just need to click on developer.amazonservices.com then click on sign up for marketplace web services then click on I want to use an application to access my Amazon Seller account with marketplace web service and then the application name is just sales backer and the applications developer account number is provided along with the instructions. Once you've filled that in, just click next and this button will appear orange, allowing you to move to the next step. Click next and then just tick these if you agree with the terms and then that button will come up once you're ready to go to the next stage again. So click on next. And now it will say congratulations, Salesbacker can now access your Amazon Seller account with Amazon Marketplace Web Service. And now it's providing you with your identifiers that will need to set up your Salesbacker account. So you just take your Seller ID, your Marketplace ID and go back to Salesbacker and scroll down to this orig the original steps and you'll be able to add that information into here. So to get all this information, all you need to do is jump back to the page where you have the congratulations and all your identifier codes. So you definitely don't want to close this page, you want to save all this information and make sure you open another tab to go back and jump back and forward so that you can type in all that information. And this is provided, the Amazon seller ID is provided over here and the Amazon Marketplace Web Service Authorization Token is also provided on the congratulations page and then you just need to put in your Amazon Seller Central email address that you log into your Seller Central account with. Once you've got all that information typed in just click on connect my Amazon Seller Central account on the green button at the bottom here. It now says great we've verified your Amazon Marketplace web service credentials and that will now start importing your orders. So from now on all the emails will be sent out to anyone that orders a new product from you. So now you just want to click on email campaigns on this link here or you can go directly to it through the navigation bar which takes you to email campaigns. Once you get to this page, this is just all the different campaign options that you get to use. The one that I recommend is the review and feedback combo which means that you're going to make the most of getting feedback and then reviews. This one's just for reviews and the feedback map Maximizer is just for getting seller feedback and this is for product reviews, the review maximizer. But as I've said, the review feedback combo is the one that you want to go for. And just to see what emails this will be sending out in a campaign, a campaign is basically email campaigns that will send an email straight after the customer's ordered a product. It will send out another one a couple of days later, then another one. So it's just following up to try and get feedback and then reviews. So just click on the actions column here on the wee email icon and that will show you the different emails that it sends out. So it says message 1, message 2, message 3, message 4. So it sends out four different email messages to your customers on Amazon. And if you want to view them you just click on it there or you can click to edit them. You can even add new messages to add a fifth message 
or you can start and create your own campaign altogether. And I've provided email templates if you want to use this one, or you can just go ahead and use Salesbacker to get started and use their email templates. So I'll just click on edit here so you can see what it actually says. So this is the order confirmation. So as you can see, this is just code that makes sure that it uses the customer's name. It says hello, then their name. Thank you for purchasing. Then it has your product name with this code here. It will just say the product name. We value your complete satisfaction and strive to offer the best quality product and excellent customer service. Then it's got some code here to show where their order can be viewed. And then it says, let us know if there's anything else we can assist you with while you wait for your package to arrive. Thank you again for your purchase, sincerely. And then it has your name, customer service, and you can even put your company name below that if you wanted to edit that. And then once you've made any changes, just click Save Changes. And you just repeat that process for every email that you want to send out. To make sure that an email campaign is running and assigned to a specific product, what you'll need to do is check this area and make sure that it's set up with a product. It'll have the product's ASIN number here. But if this isn't set up yet, what you'll need to do is go either click on the link that says Products here, or you'll need to go to Products. And I'll have a list of your products. You'll see one's running because I've already set this up. But I'm going to show you how to set this up from the start. So at the moment, it says paused on this email campaign. And that's because I'm not assigned a campaign to this product yet. And you can have different email campaigns or different messages that go out to different customers based on your different products. So first, what you'll need to do is click on the paused. And then that'll take you to this page here first thing you can do is change the product name so that the product name is not a big long one like this because you should probably have your title as a long name for your product so you can get a lot of keywords into there. So just click on product name or edit product name and you can just shorten this message to a smaller name for your product. Then just click save changes and just click back twice and refresh. And you'll see that's now been updated to a smaller product name. And that will just sound more natural when you're sending out email campaigns when it mentions the product name in the email instead of something, a, a big long sentence. Then just scroll down and click on the email campaign that you want to link to this product. At the moment, it's selected the review maximizer. If you just click on choose a different campaign, it will give you the options for review maximizer, feedback maximizer, review and feedback combo and that's the one you want to choose there. So select that and then click on save changes and then to change the campaign status you just click on paused and that changes it to running. But at the moment I'm going to leave this off because this is just a sample but that was just to show you how to get the campaign set up and running. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.